Whether you're getting your picture taken from a pro or doing a selfie, the face is always something that's important to you and you want to look good in your photographs. Now, I use Photoshop for everything. And when doing portraits, there's, you know, like 97 ways of doing things. Wouldn't it be great to do it all in one program? Well, that's why I'd like to introduce you to Portrait Pro from Anthropics. The version is uh, 24.3 and it's an all-in-one solution to do portraits. So let me introduce you to this software and we'll see how it goes. Let's go. Now I've been using this program since roughly about 2021 and I've found it to be just the best there is on the market outside of doing everything in Photoshop. So let's dive in and I'll show you some of the features and what's going on with this program. All right, I got this picture of this girl here and we're gonna work on her face to make her picture the best it can be. Now, first, let's copy the layer and make it a smart object. I always use everything in Photoshop as a plugin, which is great because you can come out of Photoshop and do even more edits right away if you want. You don't have to open and close two programs to get this done. Everything's done for you. So let's go under Filter, Anthropics, and Portrait Pro. Now, first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna find the face and it's gonna map out where the face is and everything about it. Now, the first thing you wanna do though is let's go back under File and adjust the outlines. Because you can see that the eyebrows are just a bit off on this one side. And you can shape it how you want. Both eyebrows, when you start doing the eyebrows. Nose looks good, mouth looks good. We might have to bring this down a bit. Let's bring the chin up. And everything looks good. So let's go next here. Everything on the right-hand side here is everything you can do in this program. It's amazing how many different things it'll do and do it really well. Today, I'd like to just start with a little bit of skin smoothing if I could. So let's go over to skin smoothing. Right away, you can go and edit the mask. So let's check out what the mask looks like. We'll zoom out a bit here. And does the mask look good? It kind of looks good, yeah, but it looks like a little bit of the eyebrow here is a bit messed up. So let's zoom in here a bit and we can cut back some of it because that's the eyebrow there. And we can extend it. So let's put this in here. Fix this right up about here. Cut back the mistake I just made. All right, now always make sure you hit refine edge and it fixes it for you. Very cool, I like that. So let's hit okay. Now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go down to texture. Now under texture, we can go and we can fix the blemishes of what's going on in her face. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to look up, do I want to do everything else? Like imperfections, let's bring it up. It kind of lightens them a bit, which isn't bad. So let's leave that at about 75. Now for spot removal, let's go all the way down to the bottom for maximum sensitivity. Choose the brush at 100% and let's just color in anything else we want to do and it's that simple let's get rid of the stuff that we don't want a little bit on her nose up here all right and it all looks very natural so now we can go back into details let's back it off a bit and the more you back it off the more everything disappears and you've got a smooth face. Very cool. Let's go up because you can see there's a little bit of shine or grease or something going on here. So let's see if we can remove shine. Let's go from 60 to 100. It really 
doesn't remove a lot because that's probably not the case. So I'll undo that. Let's go to the remove grease. And right away, it's gone. Check this out. I'm going to leave it about 80. And right now, let's check this out. Before, after, before, after. Now you can see when we do a before and after, that her face actually moves. So what it does is it'll fix the face and make it so you can see the picture and the face properly. Before, after. And now her face and her skin are starting to look really good. You can do other things too. Click around the eyes. You can lighten the eye bags. Check this out. A bit. You can do them individually. You can smooth the eye bags. Back and forth. Making her face even nicer. And if she's got crow's feet, remove that too. And you can see it go. But she doesn't need that happening. That's around the eyes. We get all kinds of things. Thinning wrinkles. The fine shadows. This is at 36 Let's see what it does. It just kind of blurs things, but it's not bad. So let's go back. You can remove pores and make it even smoother if you want for an all-in-one solution. Very cool. Now also, you can trim the eyebrows, you can do the texture. This is just amazing stuff. All in one package, before, after, before, after. Now, if we go back, we can see shape, we can see lighting, color. Lighting is really important, especially if you didn't get it right or if you took a selfie and it doesn't work. Let's check out the lighting for one second. Now, here is where the light is going right on her face. So what if I want it to come from the one side? or possibly the other side to make it a little more dramatic. Very cool. Let's go back to the center here. Also, you can do two things. One called modeling, check it out. And it brings in her face on by her cheeks and makes it even more dramatic. I'm digging it. Now you can also fix lighting if it's not quite what you want. Now watch her, how her face changes. It's just a bit. So let's go back. Now there's so many different things that you can do. Cheekbones, there they are. <laughs> Plus you're given the option of working on the cheekbones separately and or using the shadows and left kick lights. Check this out. There's, there's the left one, the right one. Left kick light. Brings it up just a bit. The right kick light. Again, there's a light and you can bring it up. Change her eyes, smoky eyes. Let's go from 38 and make it up a bit. Or down, remove it if you want. It's endless here. Change the lighting to make it look like she's got a pout. Before, after. I'm digging it. Let's sculpt the nose. It brings out the light in the nose here, so you can bring that out if you wish, just like her chin. It dims the light on her neck and supports her chin. Brilliant stuff. So this is just a taste. Let's go out. So hit the button up here. Before, after, before, after. And we're just getting started. Anthropics Portrait Pro version 24.3 is just amazing stuff. And you don't have to remember or do like 97 different ways you can do it in Photoshop. It's all in one program. That's what I really like about it. Now, as I showed you there, we're just getting started with this portrait software, which is just amazing of what it can do. In future videos, I'll show you how to do everything from your hair to your eyes to whatever. I wanna go through all the settings and, and see what we can do. I love using Photoshop for this kind of stuff, but I don't have to memorize anything. You can just go in and do it. 
I love this stuff. Now, my review of this software is totally unpaid. I've just used it for a few years now, and I just love it. I want to show you guys what's possible with Anthropics Portrait Pro. You got to be digging it. If you're getting anything out of my tutorials, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know what's going on. I'm done from Photo 911. See ya.